Hello everyone, how's it going? So today we are going to do a quick license plate detection system using OpenCV and Python. So you can see the application running here. It's able to detect where the license plate is in the picture and identify what the license plate reads. So it says here ZG3254 hyphen D. It's also able to detect the hyphen and the alphanumeric digit. So we'll start with uh, how we can do this. There are two libraries that we need. So it's OpenCV and PyTesseract. So in order to install both of them, you need to first install OpenCV and this is done by using the pip install OpenCV Python. I'm using a Linux computer and I'm running on Python 3. Uh, and this is what I have used, pip install OpenCV hyphen Python. Once you do that, it will install of the OpenCV library. The second step is you want to install Tesseract and Tesseract comes in two stages. The first is you have to install the Tesseract software which comes with this and here you can see they have used sudo apt install Tesseract OCR. Now this is for a Linux computer but uh, if you go to the same page where it says uh, install Tesseract the how to forge uh, this I've used from how to forge but there are the Tesseract original lab website I'll put the link for it below it also has information of how you can install on uh, Windows and uh, Mac OS so it's not too difficult but uh, you just need to install the sudo apt install Tesseract OCR this is for the language if you want to use English France French or Hindi whatever language Tesseract comes up uh, it's able to detect several other languages and uh, you can use one of them so you have to first install tesseract ocr once you install this the second stage is to install the py tesseract module now what is this this is just the python uh, library which is it's a kind of a binding which comes on top of tesseract so that you can use tesseract with python tesseract is a whole blown application it runs on its own it doesn't need anything but in order for us to use Tesseract features, you have to install the PyTesseract module so that you can run your Python programs using Tesseract. So we'll go back into the program. I have uh, commented all the codes and I'll go one by one at what I'm doing at each stage. So the first stage is you want to read the image and you want to make sure the image is in the same working library or the directory where your application is running. So here I have, I'm using an image called car0.jpg. Once I read it using the cv2im read command, I'm saving it in the, in the variable called image. Once I'm done with that, I'm converting that image into a grayscale image and I'm using color BGR to gray. OpenCV considers every image as a BGR image and it's, uh, op and it's, uh, it's converting it into a grayscale image using the convert color command from OpenCV. Once we are done with this, we want to detect the edges and canny edge detection is the best edge detection system and a very efficient and easy detection module. You just need to provide the gray image and the threshold values for where you want to draw the edges or identify the edges. Once you do the edges, you have to identify the contours in those images and you need to do by doing this by using the OpenCV command called find contours and you're using the canny edge detected image from here and uh, using a copy so that it doesn't erase the original image it doesn't matter and because we're not going to be using the uh, canny edge detection image later on but uh, you can use the dot copy so that it uses a duplicate version of it and these are just the parameters that we are providing for the find contours to see how it's going to be running and identifying the contours in the images. Once the contours are detected, we are sorting them in the order of their sizes and you're only using contours which are greater than 30, in size 30. What does that mean? So uh, it's basically the image of the car and it has all its contours and every contour or every edge that is being detected in the car, uh, it's considered as a contour and you want to use only those contours which are big so that you're not including the noise 
and uh, those small contours which are not going to add anything uh, in your image we are basically trying to find that contour which has the license plate in it so you want to exclude everything so we start off by using uh, the bigger contours and you're uh, sorting them in the order and you are excluding you're not including any contour which is less than 30 and you're doing this by this command once we are done with this we come down and we are initializing some of these labels now this is the contour with the license plate so uh, among with all these contours that were detected in these two stages you're only using the that particular contour you're only interested in that contour which has the license plate and you're defining it here and a license plate is nothing going to be it's nothing but the image or the roi roi is the region of interest in that image which has the license plate and x y w and h these are nothing but the coordinates of your license plate in that image so x and y is defining the initial coordinates of that license plate w and h is nothing but the width and height of the license plate in your image once you're done with this now you're going to be looping through all these contours because these contours include all the contours that were detected in that image but you are interested only in that contour which has the license plate so you're coming here and you are going to run through all the contours we're going to be looping through all the contours and this is the for loop which is going to help us loop through all the contours that are available so you're using contour in contours so that it goes through each contour uh, which were detected and here i'm going to use now uh, these two are very interesting functions so what is this doing is this is nothing but identifying the perimeter or the length of that contour using the arc length so arc length provides the length of that contour and it's provided here and approx approx is uh, now this is a very interesting function of opencv approx poly dp so what it does is now your contours these contours are irregular in shape they are circular they will be in different shapes so imagine a car it has different types of shapes in it the window the pane the doors the bonnet everything has a different shape and it's not regular but by using this approximate poly dp what we're trying to do is we're trying to resemble that contour with a known shape so what are your known shapes like a square a rectangle or polygon so you want to match your detected contour to one of those contours which we know so why why are we doing that imagine a license plate a license plate has four contours it it's in the form of a rectangle so it has four corners so we are trying to find out that particular that particular contour which resembles a rectangle and we are doing that by using approximate poly dp and we are providing the same contour which we are running and 0.01 .01 into perimeter is nothing but the uh, it's it's the percentage of accuracy that you feel should be used for that perimeter so this is 0.01 .01 is nothing but one percent accuracy that you think it is a rectangle for sure now from uh from you know from our perspective we know that like this plate has to be a rectangle so it has to be very accurate and that's the reason you're providing 0.01 percent if you provide a little higher number then your accuracy drops or it goes um it goes into different types of shapes and it tries to identify more accuracy which is not good but you want to be uh, with a uh, low value so you know this uh, particular uh, contour is going to be rectangle so that's the reason we are providing 0.01 .01 so that the accuracy is very less and it's going to resemble a rectangle rather than finding all the different nooks and corners in that shape so once we're done uh, we're providing the variable true here the reason for that is we want to specify that our contour is a closed contour because the license plate it is a square or a rectangle 
but it is closed. That's the reason we are providing true. If it was false, then it would find all those contours which are open. But you want to keep it true. And here we're going to specify if the length of the approximation is four, if the contours which are four. So you are identifying those polygons which has four corners in it. As long as those four corners are detected, then you are stating that is the contour which you are interested in. So you're defining contour with license plate equal to approx. So the approx contour which has four corners is detected and it is saved in our contour license plate which we defined here. And once it's defined, you are also finding the bounding rectangle of that contour so that rectangle which resembles the x, y, w, h variables, we are going to detect using the bounding rectangle. Once we do that, we use the license plate gray image to create the ROI of your rectangle. So from your gray image, which we had here, we are only going to extract that particular area, which is nothing but your license plate. And you do that by providing the y and the y plus h coordinate so you provide so you, if you think about a rectangle you're using the top the y coordinate of the top left corner and the y coordinate of the bottom right corner and the x coordinate of the top left corner and the x coordinate of the bottom right corner so you're going to be using this and once you know and the immediately the ROI from your image would be saved into license plate. Once we do that, we are now with this stage we, you have obtained, you have identified where your license plate is in the image, which is very good. Now you come down to the second stage where you want to detect what is written in that license plate. And you do that by first processing your license plate for removing all the types of noise. And you do that by using the bilateral filter. And the second is by using a threshold so that you can uh, remove different types of colors. So imagine, uh, this is the image which I had used. So if I zoom into this image, you will see that license plate has too many noise in it. So if you've seen this particular region out here, let me zoom in and let's see. So you can see, the license plate here so it has these red dots here which is nothing but the logo or the level of that particular country i'm not sure what exactly it is but that will be noise for your license plate so before you can send it to the tesseract text recognition system you want to remove these types of noises and the sole purpose of using these two functions is to remove those noises the bilateral filter removes the noises and keeps the edges intact and the threshold only uses the color which is dark, which is black in color, so that you know the license plate is made very contrast. The text is written in black and the background is white in color. So as long as your license plate matches those criteria, I've used a filter value of this and I'm just converting that image into a binary image here. Once I'm done, once I'm done with noise removal, I can, I, it is safe to provide to the Tesseract module. And I'm going to be using the PyTesseract, which we defined here, import PyTesseract. And we use PyTesseract here so that it can detect the text which is present in the license plate by detecting PyTesseract image to string license plate. And once you know you're saving that into this text, the second stage is nothing but the once you have detected the text so you're pretty much done with the application but now you want to just press, just show it off so that you can see it uh, in action and for that purpose we are simply going to draw a rectangle over the license plate and also write down the text that was detected so by in order for us to draw the license plate you're going to be using cv2 rectangle so that it can draw the rectangle and with then, then you can, where are we drawing the rectangle? We're drawing the rectangle on the image, the colorful image which we used here on the top. So the image, the colorful image which we originally read, we're going to draw the rectangle over there. So 
because all the other images are either gray in color or has edge detections in it, whatnot. So you're not interested in that. But as a user, you want to see your license plate on the original image. So image and X and Y is nothing but where the license plate is detected, which we defined over here. So the X and Y, which we found out here, which is defined here, and we're just going to be using the X and Y. And this is the uh, the end coordinate. So this is the starting coordinate of where the rectangle should start. And this is nothing but the ending coordinate of that rectangle. So uh, if you imagine a rectangle, this is the top left corner of the rectangle. And this is the bottom right, uh, bottom right corner of the rectangle. This is the color. We're using 00255. And uh, this is nothing but red color. The three is nothing but the thickness of the rectangle. And now once we draw the rectangle, we want to put the text, which is, and what is the text? Text is nothing but the license plate that we detected here. So we're going to be using the text here. And the image, again, we want to draw it on the same image. And we are writing the text that was detected in the license plate from the PyTesseract. And then show where the text should be detected. So this is the coordinate where I wanted the text to write. So I have put down X minus 100, Y minus 50. This is just my preference and this is where I wanted to put the text. It's uh, There's no hard and fast rule. You can put down it at any point in your image. Once you're done with that, uh, you're defining what kind of font you're using, uh, what, find, what kind of font you're using, what is the scale, what's the size basically. Uh, 1 to 10 or w whatever size you're putting and this is the color 0 to 55 0 this is nothing but the green color and 6 is the thickness of the uh, the font which I'm using and line A is nothing but how the font is written what kind of lines it is using to draw the font once we do that we are just printing it on the command prompt so we know what the text is and we are also going to show the image that we detected here by using the im show command of opencv and we want the wait key to be shown because that's an important function in order for the im show to work so im show will, will not work if you don't have the wait key function in it so with that we're done with the application we'll quickly rerun it to see how it works and by running python license plate detection.py it is going to run the image here so you can see how the font comes up how the rectangle bounding rectangle is drawn with the red color and we are also printing it on the command prompt so with that we come to the conclusion of this video if it helps you please uh, leave a comment i'm also going to put uh, the link to the github account of the gentleman where i've uh, used the code from so this is using opencv this is nothing but uh, a simple image processing uh, system it's not using machine learning it's a very simple uh, application we in the future we will also run through machine learning systems where it can detect uh, these license plates in the wild on the running video then it can also detect uh, the license plate that's a project for the future but uh, this is a very crude and easy way to detect license plate uh, detection systems and it also gives an indication uh, it helps us understand some basic functionalities of OpenCV. And uh, if this video has helped you, uh, please leave a comment and a like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, this is where I'm going to be practicing my own OpenCV skills and uh, learn more about uh, the computer vision aspects, the AI part of it, and also a little bit of IoT. So if it's something that interests you, you can join along with my journey. With that, I say goodbye and stay safe.